Hi, my name is Mike Nash, I'm the author of Aggressive Health. Welcome back to my kitchen. Now today I've got a recommendation for you, so pay close attention. The recommendation is this. You see this book here, The Body Ecology Diet? I want you to buy this book, I want you to read this book, I want you to master this book, and thankfully if you've read Aggressive Health you'll see there's quite a big overlap in the principles, especially the nutritional principles. The one thing we're going to focus on today is coconut kefir. I want to give you a very simple step by step process of why coconut kefir should become literally a staple in your diet. Now I've been, I've been using coconut kefir now for the last probably three months. Every single Saturday my friend Chris from mkrawpt.com turns up with 10 coconuts and it lasts me for the entire week. So let's go through the step by step process but before we do I want to, I want to read out a few points on page 99 of the Body Ecology Diet. So listen to this. Coconut kefir, number one, it completely stops your cravings for sugar. Now when I read that I was like, are you sure? So I did it and I can guarantee if you start getting on coconut kefir, you're not going to crave the foods that destroy people, the sugary foods. Secondly, it aids the digestion of all foods. Now how advantageous is that going to be if you've got any kind of digestive upset? It has a tonifying effect on the intestines, even flattening the abdomen. Now listen, how many women out there want to fit into that skimpy little black dress you know, for, uh, for Christmas or any time of the year for that matter, keep that in mind. It appears to cleanse the liver, and there's a whole load of reasons why that's beneficial. It contains high levels of valuable minerals, including potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, etc, etc. So if you're interested in having better hair, skin, nails, coconut kefir could be the way forward for you. It appears to have a beneficial cleansing effect on the endocrine system, that's the adrenals, the thyroid, the pituitary, the ovaries. It says here, the women find their periods are cleaner and healthier. Some of it who have, some who had experienced early menopause have found this important monthly cleansing returning again. Number seven, increases energy and gives you an overall feeling of good health. You know what the problem I found when speaking to people about making coconut kefir? Oh my God, man, it's just too confusing. How do you do it? It's not confusing, it's simple. So hopefully this video is gonna make it very simple for you. So pay close. Pay close attention. So, what you need to do first of all is get some of these coconuts. You see these young Thai coconuts here? And this is how I this is how I start. So first of all, you'll see there's an end with a leaf or a leafy bit and an end without the leafy bit. Forget this end. All you're going to do is you're going to cut at an angle to kind of make a point just around about here. And remember, once you've done this as many times as I have, you'll realise how simple it is. So you don't cut straight across, you cut up at the angle, like so. So watch carefully. <clears throat> and when, you, when you've done that, you can twist the knife a bit and you can flick a piece off. You see what I'm doing now? Okay. So that's that. How difficult was that? Right, that was easy. So next, obviously there's no coconut water coming out of this and to make coconut kefir you need the water from inside the coconut. So what you need to do now, now you've cut a little bit off, you can, you can cut into it. So you've got quite a thick knife here. And again, yeah, I'm relatively strong so this might not be easy if you're, you know, um, I was going to say if you're a little six stone weakling but I think you get my point. So, and there are tools that you can buy out there where you can just jam something into the coconut and it will actually pour the water out. But for all intents and purposes, this isn't really that hard, so watch carefully. See, so I'm going to cut in now. And then it pops, so I know I'm inside the coconut. Now at that point, rather than cutting it all the way open and having all the coconut water spill out, cut in a little bit, take it over here, if you twist the knife, you can start to see that I'm spilling it all over the side. You start to see that it, it pours into the jug. And then once most of it's come out, you can cut the top off. And so basically you've got the coconut in there, and you've got the water in the jug. Now, if you're using 10 coconuts, do one co coconut at a time, have a tiny sip, remember you don't want to drink this water really because it's very, very sugar rich. But when we get to the later stages of making the coconut kefir, you'll realise that it's the friendly bacteria that we're going to put into this that eats the sugar, that multiplies, 
that when it goes inside your body, that's what causes all the benefits that we spoke about earlier. So once I've tasted it to make sure the coconut water hasn't gone off, because every now and again you get a bad coconut, then we drop it, see here, got this great big bowl, and that's step one. So just to recap, you grab your coconut, you don't cut the bit off at the bottom with the, um, with the leaf, you cut the top off, or you cut it at that angle, then you cut it, you pour the liquid in, you make sure the liquid's okay, then you pour it into your, into your, into your batch. That's step one.